Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche DB, and in this video, you're going to learn how to enable API gateway caching in AWS. Let's start by navigating to the Lambda service, then click on create function and give your function a name. Choose Python from the runtime dropdown, then hit the create function button. Scroll down to the code source section. Here, I'm going to copy paste a pre-written Python code, which imports the random module and returns a random integer between one to 10 in the body. Hit deploy, then click on the test button and give your test event a name. Click on save, then click on test again to execute your Lambda function. If I execute my Lambda function multiple times, you'll notice that the random integer changes in the body section as expected. Next, let's navigate to the API gateway service, then click on create API, then hit the build button in the rest API section. Give your API a name, hit create, then choose create method from the actions dropdown, then select get. Leave the integration type to lambda function, then select the lambda function that we just created. Hit save, then OK, then choose deploy API from the actions dropdown. Select new stage, then enter a stage name followed by deploy. Next, enable API cache, then select a cache capacity. I'm going to disable authorization and then enter a value of 3600 seconds for cache time to live. Disable throttling, then hit save changes. Your cache status should now change to create in progress. While we're waiting on the cache to get created, let's click on the invoke URL. Verify that the integer value changes in the body section every time we hit refresh as expected. Give it a few minutes and your cache status should change to available. Now let's copy our invoke URL and paste it in a brand new browser session. Notice if I hit refresh multiple times, my integer value in the body section doesn't change because it's being cached. There you have it. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.